A surprising fact about China's advancements in sixth-generation stealth technology is that it is already testing a prototype sixth-generation fighter jet, potentially leapfrogging even the most advanced U.S. projects like the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. Reports suggest that China's sixth-gen aircraft could feature AI-driven systems, hypersonic capabilities, and unmanned wingman drones, making it a game-changer in aerial combat. This rapid progress highlights China's ambition to dominate future air warfare, as it aims to deploy this advanced technology by the 2030s, potentially outpacing Western rivals. The smaller and more maneuverable of China's two recently unveiled sixth-generation stealth aircraft is expected to become the future backbone of the country's carrier-based fighter fleet, according to Chinese analysts. This compact fighter jet was observed during its maiden test flight over Shenyang, a city in northeastern China, late last month. On the same day, a larger, three-engine aircraft featuring a tailless diamond wing design was spotted over Chengdu, the southwestern hub of Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group. This company is known for producing advanced fighters like the J-20, China's counterpart to the U.S. Air Force's F-22. China's sixth-generation stealth fighter design incorporates a range of advanced technologies and features aimed at achieving unparalleled stealth, speed, and combat effectiveness. Here are some key design elements and innovations. 1. Radar Absorbent Materials China is reportedly using advanced radar absorbent materials that significantly reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section RCS. These materials are designed to absorb and dissipate radar waves rather than reflect them making the fighter nearly invisible to enemy radar systems. Research suggests China is experimenting with metamaterials, engineered materials with properties not found in nature, that can manipulate electromagnetic waves to enhance stealth capabilities. 2. Aerodynamic Design The aircraft features a highly streamlined, aerodynamic shape to minimize drag and maximize speed. This design also reduces the aircraft's infrared signature, making it harder to detect by heat-seeking missiles. The fighter may employ adaptive or morphing wings that can change shape during flight to optimize performance for different missions, such as high-speed interception or long-range cruising. 3. AI-Driven Systems The sixth-gen fighter is expected to have advanced AI systems capable of autonomous decision-making, target identification, and threat assessment. This reduces the cognitive load on the pilot and enhances mission effectiveness. The aircraft could control a swarm of unmanned drones, known as loyal wingmen, which can perform reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or even direct combat roles, significantly expanding the fighter's operational capabilities. 4. Hypersonic Capabilities The fighter is rumored to be equipped with advanced propulsion systems capable of achieving hypersonic speeds, Mach 5 and above. This would allow it to outpace and outmaneuver current missile defense systems. Some reports suggest the use of scramjet engines, which can operate efficiently at extremely high speeds, providing a significant advantage in both offensive and defensive scenarios. 5. Integrated Sensor Suite The aircraft is expected to feature an integrated suite of sensors that can operate across multiple spectra, including radar, infrared, and electro-optical systems. This provides a comprehensive battlefield awareness and enhances the fighter's ability to detect and engage targets. There are indications that China is developing quantum radar technology, which could potentially detect stealth aircraft by exploiting quantum entanglement principles, giving it a significant edge in electronic warfare. 6. Stealth Enhancements To maintain a low radar profile, the fighter will likely have internal weapon bays that keep missiles and other armaments concealed until deployment. Advanced coatings that reduce both radar and infrared signatures are applied to the aircraft's surface, further enhancing its stealth capabilities. 7. Network-Centric Warfare The fighter is designed to operate within a network-centric warfare environment, where it can share real-time data with other aircraft, ground forces, and command centers. This enhances situational awareness and coordination across the battlefield. The aircraft may also have integrated cyber warfare tools, allowing it to disrupt enemy communications and sensor systems. Chinese military commentator Du Wenlong explained that the two sixth-generation jets are based on distinct design philosophies tailored to meet the needs of different military branches. 
The Chengdu model emphasizes stealth capabilities, long range, and high payload capacity, while the smaller, two-engine aircraft with a tailless Lambda wing design is likely a prototype for a carrier-based fighter. The smaller jet is believed to be developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, which already manufactures several carrier-based fighters and is headquartered near the site of last month's sighting. Du noted that both aircraft will significantly influence the competition for future air combat and air superiority. Footage of the two models began circulating on Chinese social media on December 26, coinciding with the 131st anniversary of the birth of Mao Zedong, the founding father of the People's Republic of China. These developments highlight China's rapid progress in next-generation military aviation and its ambitions to dominate future aerial warfare. New footage surfaced on Saturday, revealing what appears to be a second test flight of the Shenyang aircraft, referred to by some military observers and enthusiasts as the J-50. The clearer images provided detailed insights into its configuration and maneuverability. A Chinese military expert, who requested anonymity, noted that the Shenyang plane features a foldable vertical tail design, enabling it to switch between stealth and high maneuverability configurations. The foldable vertical tail allows for adaptability, particularly for carrier landings, which demand precise and complex control, the analyst explained. Moreover, in close-range dogfights, where stealth becomes less critical, deploying the vertical tail can significantly enhance maneuverability. China's current carrier-based air fleet is primarily composed of the J-15 fighter jet, nicknamed the Flying Shark, which operates from its first two carriers, the Liaoning and Shandong. In November, China introduced a more advanced carrier-capable stealth fighter, the J-35, alongside an upgraded version of the J-15, the J-15T, designed for catapult launch systems. Both the J-35 and J-15T are expected to be deployed on China's newest carrier, the Fujian, the country's first domestically designed and produced carrier. This combination of advanced and upgraded aircraft is intended to create a high-low mix, maximizing their combined combat effectiveness and strengthening China's naval aviation capabilities. Chinese military commentator Song Zhongping mentioned that the fighter jet spotted over Shenyang has potential for carrier-based operations. Song indicated that the competition between the two aircraft manufacturers could lead to both being adopted by different military branches, provided their performances excel. Although there hasn't been an official announcement regarding the new aircraft, the Chinese military has subtly acknowledged their arrival. A New Year's Day music video from the PLA's Eastern Theater Command showcased a ginkgo leaf resembling one of the jets. Malcolm Davis, a senior analyst at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, commented that the aircraft could provide China with long-range air dominance, potentially challenging Washington and its allies unless they adapt their air operation strategies. Meanwhile, the US is developing its own sixth-generation fighter under the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program, which aims to incorporate advanced stealth, adaptive engines, and drone control. Davis speculated that China might aim to deploy these aircraft rapidly, especially given the NGAD program's current pause pending review in the next Trump administration. He suggested that achieving operational deployment within this decade could offer China a qualitative advantage over the US, with significant implications for the US-China military balance and China's intentions regarding Taiwan. Davis explained that the Chengdu plane, known as the J-36, is not designed for dogfighting or highly maneuverable air combat. Instead, it features supercruise capability, allowing it to fly supersonically without afterburners, which extends its range and enhances responsiveness. The J-36 is likely to serve as the coordinating node in a system of systems, integrating crewed and autonomous platforms into a network and providing forward targeting data for other platforms, such as naval surface combatants. Davis added that the J-36 is expected to project power to the second island chain or operate between the first and second island chains with long endurance on station, based on current discussions about its combat radius. The smaller J-50 has a likely reduced combat radius compared to the J-36 and is expected to be used for missions within the first island chain, according to Davis. Timothy Heath 
a senior international defense researcher at the RAND Corporation, suggested that the third engine and large bay of the Chengdu variant could enable it to function as a stealthy fighter bomber. The Shenyang aircraft, on the other hand, could be used for more conventional multirole missions, including fighter, strike, and surveillance operations. Heath noted that the Shenyang aircraft could become even more powerful when paired with the Chengdu variant stealth aircraft, which could provide radar and warning, electronic warfare, and UCAV, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, support. These breakthroughs in AI, autonomous systems, hypersonic capabilities, and adaptive stealth technologies position China's sixth-generation stealth fighter as a formidable competitor in modern aerial warfare. The integration of these advanced features not only sets it apart from current fifth-generation fighters but also pushes the boundaries of what is possible in military aviation, compelling other nations to accelerate their own defense innovations. If you like the content in this episode, Please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military developments and advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.